Hello, in this recording I'm going to talk about the SQ3R and its value for reading any text, whether it's in this course or in another course or in your daily life. A lot of times we actually we don't realize that sometimes we use some of these tools and they're very useful to getting the most out of any kind of reading. Now as I look at this text here I can see from some of the visuals of where it's from, um, HKUST Business School, it's a business case analysis one. If I know anything about the background of the kind of, of cases, that can also help, help me. But right away I'm going to just talk about using the titles and subtitles to formulate questions and utilize those questions to get the most out of your reading. So right away I look at here and it says Incentive Compensation Program for Widget which is a term that's often used in, to cover up a, a real name of a company. So everybody at Widget, a moderate-sized manufacturing company in Shenzhen, I was talking about a new, I, a new program on ICP. Well, so the text is about an incentive compensation program for business. We can see under here there are mixed reactions. That is, when you have the term mixed reactions, it's usually positive and negative. And when I skim down through here, I see ICPs soon to take to soon to take effect. Now I come down here and I see down here more in the area of the references. Uh, here's a, a table of supervisory ratings of employees' performance. Now with this information, I can simply formulate some really basic um, uh, uh, sentences as to what it's about and I've combined them here. The text is about an incentive compensation program. While there are mixed reactions about the program, it will soon take effect. So the, this summary is useful. It helps me to understand basically what the text is about, but it also helps me to go to step two, question. In here, we actually formulate questions to guide our reading. So what is, is an incentive compensation program? Again, taken from the from the summary. What are the reactions? Why are these reactions mixed? When will the ICPs take effect? How will the ICP take effect? In what situations are, are ICPs good or bad? So information about it. I'm going to take these questions here and I'm going to use those questions to go back and read the text. I'm going to try to answer these questions. Okay, so what is an incentive compensation program? Well, if I skimming through here, and I, it's designed to motivate workers to exert their best efforts. Okay, so that's what it's really about. It's a motivational tool. Um, we have bonuses. It offers bonuses for people. Okay. And, um, right? spearheaded by Michael Kahn. Now, so that's what it's about. It's designed to motivate. Now, mixed reactions. Let's put the questions down here. What are the reactions of the ICP? Why are these reactions mixed? Well, we have, it says it's mixed here. It says um, there are already coming up they're already coming up with plans on how to spend the bonus. So people want to spend it. So people like Mike Wong, he seems happy about it. Some are, however, there are negative opinions like Betty Huang. And she is interested in, in health insurance. And Mary Choi, she wants daycare benefits. Now we also have management Albert Lee. He's a senior executive and he says that in previous jobs um, that ICPs are never fairly administered. So there's a problem. Now these are problems as well and very useful later on as we do case analysis. So we can see that those are all negative. And then ICPs soon to take effect. What was the question for that? Was 
When will it take effect? How will ICPs take effect? In what situations are ICPs good or bad? Um, some more information about ICPs. Well, when it will take effect, it says right here, late November. Um, it will use a, a, a appraisal forms. I'm using performance rating systems. Oh, it says a rating scale. You know, put that highlight as well. And what situations are they good or bad? There was nothing really clear on that question there. So let's go back here. So we've gone through and re rate and we've read the text for those answers. We've gotten the questions. I've read it. Now at this stage of reading, there were also some some words like appraisal form, which I may not know. Um, that's also a good, a good time to go through the text and highlight any phrases that you may not have known um, as you're looking at it. Some people may not know what spearheaded is, for instance. I like the whole whole word. Okay, spearheaded, which means as to to lead or in charge of. Um, other phrases, um, maybe people didn't know, maybe administered. Um, here's an interesting phrase here, oops. Jealously generated, that's an interesting phrase. So some phrases may, um, So synergies, at that point, it's actually very useful to go through and look up these words and study those if you don't know them. It can help you to, to learn more. Well, step four simply is to, it's called recite. And in this section, one simply goes through and tries to answer the questions. And there are different ways of doing this. One way is simply to answer the questions. A second way is to go through and write a summary. I'm going to read the, read the summary here. This text, this reading text, is about a company called Widget located in Shenzhen, China, and its attempt to implement an incentive compensation program. The CEO, Michael Kahn, wishes to execute the program so as to motivate workers to exert their best efforts. And that's a phrase come running out of the text. It is performance-based created to reward employees for working harder. However, there are mixed reactions to this program. Some employees, like Mike Wong, already have plans to spend the money, while others, like Betty Huang and, and Mary Choi, believe the money should be invested in general welfare programs like health insurance or daycare benefits. And senior executive Albert Lee thinks that ICPs cannot be fully administered. In spite of these objections, Michael Kahn will implement the program in late November through the use of an appraisal form and evaluated via the supervisor ratings of employees' performance. So this is a simply a summary of the text, which can then help you to remember what it's about. Again, we're missing some of the details because it's a it's a summary, but its purpose is to help you understand what it, your your reading is and to record the information. Now, step five is simply to go back and reread it. Reread if if there's information that you think that's important to put in there. You know, it's at this point that one does this. In addition, I say here, in some cases, the questions one asks are not answered in the reading. For instance, the question, in what situation are ICPs good or bad, wasn't really answered. The text gave some very general opinions about ICPs, but nothing really concrete or factual. Now, this is the weakness of almost every text one reads. There will likely be areas that are simply not fully expressed. The really good reader, however, is not perplexed by this setback. Good reading often involves doing some detective work in the form of research, and this we're going to cover in the next lesson. Now that's the end of the SQ3R. We hope that it will be useful for you to guide in your reading.